the 48 hour film project is actually the world's largest filmmaking event. It takes place in 100 cities around the world every year. I'm Sam, and together with my wife Louise, we run the 48-Hour Film Project. The way it works is, teams turn up on a Friday, they draw a genre out of a hat, and then we announce a character, prop, and line of dialogue that has to be in the film. We're celebrating the 15th year of Scotland's biggest filmmaking event. Since 2008, we've now had 1,000 Scottish short films made as part of this event. I think probably the reason that we're successful is that we're fun. It takes place over a weekend and you get all of your friends together. We have lots of events where you come and you network. You make a movie, we screen every movie. We celebrate at a big awards party, which we're at now. And I think that's probably why we've had so many people take part, because it's just so much fun. I kind of live and breathe filmmaking. This is like what kind of keeps me going, like I love it. It's very challenging, you know, making a film, getting an idea, writing it, filming it, editing it, acting, all that stuff. Um, it's stressful, it's difficult. I think I've got a few more grey hairs. Didn't sleep very much, but uh, yeah, it was amazing. Like. There seems to be two approaches to it. My approach is get it written on Friday, film it on Saturday, and that way Sunday you can spend the whole day editing it and doing all the post stuff. The challenging part is just overcoming the doubt and just like going, going with the idea. Just sticking to your guns and just like, just going for it. So just do it! Make your dreams come true! Just do it! I think the filmmaking gods are trying to tell us something. <sighs> That's um, Michael Walsh, Roots of Christianity. That's the book that you chose. That's the book that you just dropped on the table in fright. Do I frighten you? How can you? You want to see some real magic? Flutter. Who am I? Okay, I'm Dorian Todd, and I was playing Robin Magnifico. Sorry, nearly lost the second name there, but uh, yeah, I was who they captured, the scientist who had gone to space and come back uh, a bit delusional and convinced he was a magician. I think the biggest challenge by a mile was of the book reading scene because we completely changed the whole script for that 20 minutes before we shot it, or like 30 minutes before we shot it. I don't know how long it was. I know I had a very small window to learn it all. One thing I noticed tonight about the films that won is that they, they stand out in different ways. It's just kind of like, you know, choose your team carefully and, and, and let everyone bring a little unique perspective to the film and a, a unique skill. Um, there's some really, really good films this year. Um, there's usually, like every year, there's like a handful of films that are really, really good. And I feel like this year it's pretty much the same again. It's one of those things where you watch it and you're just like, there's no way that was made in 48 hours. There's no way. I mean, I'm not going to lie, I think everyone sort of liked this film. Uh, for me, Straw Dogs, you know, the French film, uh, I thought it was great. There was a lot of really good films. There was a lot of really good films. It makes you laugh, it makes you cry. It's learning magic, average, so good. Calling out your efficiency. Go watch it on YouTube right now. I <laughs> um, just want to thank the 48 Hour for putting this on. It was really fun and yeah, that's, honestly, I'm just gobsmacked. This is, this is a great team. Uh, my name is Neil Boyle and I, we made uh, Learning Magic and it won Best Film. Pretty chuffed. Yeah, we won. It, amazing, like, it, yeah, honestly, I did not expect it. It was just mad. It's like, someone took a video of the reaction, and I was just like, oh my god, it's crazy. You have won! I love you! I thought, I thought that was it! <laughs> no, that's not it! That's, I love this! This is hilarious! I love this! No, 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 no,
Um, I didn't actually know that we won 1,500 quid or that we get to go to Lisbon. So I just thought you get a plaque and go home. So now, like, yeah, I'm excited. But yeah, it's, it's just been, it's been crazy. Crazy night. And it's like, obviously, loads of great films and interesting people, filmmakers. So yeah, overall, it's been a great night. It's been really fun. My advice to you is to have fun and be kind to your teammates because it can be a little bit stressful. The most important thing is really to make sure that you write your film on the Friday night, shoot it on Saturday, edit it Sunday morning, and just turn it in. Just do it. <laughs> like, if it's just you and your friends and you've got the equipment, just do it. The first one you do isn't going to be the best one. But I think it's you'll you'll only know if this is what you want to do by doing it. Uh, make sure you really want to do it. Make sure you really want to do it. You got to actually get to a place where you actually feel that you don't want to do it before you know that you do. It's profound that is. But it's almost such a rewarding experience saying I made that in 48 hours. Doesn't matter how good it is. You can physically point at something and say I made that in a weekend, which I think is just a great feeling. I would say definitely do it, yeah. I mean, it's a great experience, and I think it sort of uh, it sort of sharpens your skills because it's so, you know, so difficult, you know. Go for it. I mean, because it's 40 hours, you don't need to worry about being dedicated for like months, weeks, or anything. You know, you're limited to a two-day space. Just be confident. Just like go for it, uh, and like I said, just push through the doubt, and you know. Have fun. I guess that's all, what it's all about. I'm always trying to get people to make their first film with us. So if you haven't made a film yet and you like movies or you feel just a wee bit creative, this is something that is totally accessible for you. We have had films made on people's phones. It, you can, you can uh, shoot a film and edit it on your phone and submit it to the 48 Hour Film Project. And it's just something that might give you that wee creative boost. And those are the kind of films, to be honest, that are the most fun to watch. So if you haven't done it yet, I would say give it a shot. Here. <laughs> yeah, gobsmacked, man. <laughs>